So on paper, Lego sets are scheduled to retire at the end of December each year. But in reality, a lot of Lego sets actually disappear from the shelves before that date even happens. Throughout October, November, and December, we can start to see Lego sets disappearing from the shelves for good because retailers, they can't order any more stock of it. So when it sells out, then that could be it for that Lego set. And we have already been seeing Lego sets that are due to retire in December of this year start to dry up forever. And in this video, I want to share which sets we are seeing that on. Now, how do we even know if a set is permanently sold out? Well, here's the thing on lego.com, they will mark something as temporarily out of stock if it is coming back into stock, or they may mark it as back order. So you can actually still place orders, but there's a delay because they're getting more stock and then they're going to fulfill your order later. But sometimes we see a different status on items on lego.com and that status is sold out. So whenever they simply say sold out, then there is no guarantee that there will ever be any more quantities available on lego.com of that set. Now it doesn't really guarantee us anything because I have seen sold out sets come back in stock temporarily, but it is much more rare that that happens. Whenever it says temporarily out of stock, then you're almost guaranteed that they are going to have some more stock. But whenever it says sold out, a lot of the time it does actually mean that that set is now retired and is not coming back in stock. And that in my experience is what I have noticed with a lot of these sets. Whenever they are retiring sets and whenever they go out of stock for the last time on lego.com, you will see this status of sold out. And then after a while, after a couple of months, then the status will change to retired product. So that is what happens on lego.com. Again, it's no guarantee because sometimes those sets can come back, but in the majority of cases, it can give us a clue. And I want to look at these sets today. What are some of the sets in the most popular themes that are sold out right now? What are some of the sets that may never be coming back into stock on lego.com that are due to retire at the end of December, but maybe you have already missed the boat on these sets and maybe you're not going to get another chance to buy them. So without further delay, let's just jump straight into Lego architecture here. So I'm on lego.com in the United States looking at the Lego architecture theme. And as I scroll down, the first couple of sets that I'm seeing here are not due to retire this year. So I don't expect these to be in sold out status. In fact, we can see add to bag on the Himeji Castle and back order on a handful of these sets. That just means that they're selling a lot right now, but it doesn't mean anything about them going out of stock. So if we continue to scroll down, these are all not non-retiring sets. However, down here at the bottom, we see the White House. Now the White House is a retiring Lego architecture set. This set is scheduled to retire this year in December of 2023. When I click into the White House, we do in fact see this sold out status right here on the screen. So if this were to say, temporarily out of stock, that would mean that they are expecting more units to come back available sometime in the next couple of weeks or months. However, it says sold out. That tells me that they don't expect more quantities available of this set at all. And since it is scheduled to retire in December, then this could be it for the White House. There is a chance that this set will not be coming back in stock on lego.com at all. So that is the White House. That is Lego architecture. The retiring set of the year may have seen its final days here on lego.com. Now scrolling down through the Batman sets, what do we see here? So the first couple of sets again are not scheduled to retire this year. I do know that the Batman versus Harley Quinn set is scheduled to retire and the Penguin Chase is scheduled to retire. So let's just check these two really quickly. We do see sold out on Batman versus Harley Quinn right here. So that again may not be coming back in stock on lego.com. And we also see sold out here on the Penguin Chase set. This $30 Lego set is in sold out status. So neither of these two sets may be coming back into in stock stock at all on lego.com. Scrolling down to the bottom here, we also have the Lego Art Jim Lee Batman collection and the Lego Technic Batmobile. What do we see on these two sets? Again, we see sold out on the art set right here and we see sold out on the Technic set. So it is possible that both the Jim Lee Batman art set and the Technic Batmobile will not be coming back in stock on lego.com. Now again, this is not guaranteed. It is possible that they will come back in stock, but it's more likely that this is the end for those sets and that they will not be coming back in stock. Next up, let's have a quick look at Brickheads. Now, first we, we can see Ahsoka is still actually in stock. You can add it to the bag. Uh, there are so many of the Brickhead sets that are actually retiring this year. We see Battle of Endor Heroes is on back order, still available to order. Uh, that is retiring this year as well. We can see the Tusken Raider is on back order here. And then some of these did 
Disney characters that are retiring, including Scrooge McDuck, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, is still available. Daisy Duck is still available. Scrolling down more here. Disney 100 Celebration is still available. 40% off. Great price for that set. We can see the Minecraft Zombie is still available, by the way. That's going to be a great investment, in my opinion. Jumping to the next page here, we can see Harry, Hermione, Ron, and Hagrid is still available. Goofy and Pluto still available. Scrolling down more, let's look for something that is not available. Donald Duck out of stock right here. Is it sold out? It is in fact sold out. So we can see Donald Duck may be gone from lego.com for good. What else do we see is no longer available. The Minecraft Alex set is sold out. Uh, yes, in fact, it is not coming back or it is less likely to come back. We see the Professors of Hogwarts set also in sold out status. That may not be coming back at all. And coming back to the main page here, scrolling down more, we see a handful of other sets that are no longer available, including Chip and Dale sold out status right now going to the third page here llama from the minecraft series is in fact sold out right now and then the last one we're going to check here is mandalorian and the child has this said finally left us it is gone into sold out status on lego.com it does not say temporarily out of stock it is not back ordered there is a chance that this set has gone for good from lego.com quickly jumping over to disney now there's a lot of sets in disney so let's just do this pretty quickly and we do see crossovers with the brickhead sets as well here so scrolling down we see a handful of new sets that are not retiring here we can see that the madrigal house is still available it is in stock right now scrolling down more we can see rapunzel's tower is out of stock if i open this in a new tab it is gone sold out right now scrolling down further we see chip and dale we've already talked about the brick head sets let's go further here and over to page three we see a couple of sets that are not retiring here elsa and the knox storybook is retiring that is still available in stock right there elsa's castle courtyard still available that is retiring as well. So continuing down here, Ariel's Underwater Palace is retiring and it is currently out of stock. Is it sold out? It is in sold out status. That set may not be coming back. Scrolling down further here, then I'm going to page number four, looking for more sold out sets on the Disney theme. We see Buzz Lightyear's Planetary Mission is sold out. Anna's Castle Courtyard, the other Frozen Courtyard set, is gone into sold out status, may not be coming back. Anna and Elsa's Frozen Wonderland is also also gone into sold out status. Then we have down at the bottom here, we have Winnie the Pooh, which is of course one of the sets that Lego investors have been talking a lot about recently. And this set is gone into sold out status on lego.com. And when the other retailers sell out of Winnie the Pooh, then that set may be gone for good. Jumping over to Lego Harry Potter, we see a handful of sets that are not retiring here, including Castle on Grounds and Diagon Alley, the new Gringotts. We have Harry Potter and Cho Chang. We've already talked about some of these brickhead sets. Continuing down the list here, we have Hungarian Horntail is retiring and is still available on back order. We have Hogwarts Castle, Hogwarts Express, Quidditch Trunk, all still available. For Private Drive is retiring. It is still available on lego.com. The Battle of Hogwarts, none of these sets are going. Jumping to the next page here, we have Hogwarts Magical Trunk still available. That is retiring this year. We have the Astronomy Tower. We have the Slytherin House Banner on back order here. That is also still orderable. Scrolling down further, we have a couple of sets that are not retiring here. Then we have the Hospital Wing, Professors of Hogwarts, Chamber of Secrets. Uh, Sirius' Rescue is retiring, that is still available. Carriage and Thestrals is retiring, still available. Uh, scrolling down more, Hogwarts House Banner for Hufflepuff is out of stock. Uh, let me check. It is sold out, so there's a possibility that that set is not coming back at all. Uh, we have Polyjuice Potion Mistake. It is also out of stock right now and gone into sold out status, possibly not coming back. Gryffindor House Banner and Ministry of Magic, both retiring. Gryffindor House Banner is gone into sold out status and Ministry of Magic is also gone into sold out status. Both sets may not be coming back to lego.com. Scrolling down further here, 12 Grimald Place, also sold out right now on lego.com. So that may also be the last we are seeing of that set here on lego.com. Uh, we have a lot of minifigures and different things, but down here we have Ravenclaw House Banner, also gone into sold out status on lego.com. And then finally, we have Hedwig down here at the end, sold out on lego.com, no longer available. So that set is on the way out. Interesting from Harry Potter, we have a handful of retiring sets that are already gone from lego.com and may not be coming back. Jumping over to Lego Ideas, we have a handful of 
really new Lego Ideas sets, of course, that are still in stock, like the uh, Hocus Pocus set, A-Frame Cabin, the Lego Ideas Home Alone set, Viking Village, Motorized Loud Lighthouse, Treehouse, still in stock. But scrolling down to find the ones that are actually retiring. So we have Table Football, still in stock. We have the Stratocaster, still in stock. Medieval Blacksmith is out of stock. So opening this up, it does look like it is gone into sold out status. So there's a chance that this set is not coming back this year. And jumping over to the second page here, we see Winnie the Pooh again. We've already talked about that set, of course. So that is Lego Ideas. Interesting that we see Medieval Blacksmith having disappeared from Lego.com potentially for good. Now, looking quickly at Jurassic World, we see that the T-Rex breakout set is still available for order. It's on back order right now. And scrolling down further, here's another retiring set. The Triceratops Pickup Truck Ambush is also available right now on uh, back order. But then down at the bottom here, we see the Tyranitron Chase is still available to be ordered right now on lego.com. And in addition to that Tyranodon Chase, actually, we also see this one up here. The Plain Ambush set is still available as well. So there is a handful of retiring sets in Jurassic World that are actually still available on lego.com. When we jump to the second page here, uh, we don't have anything there. So there's not much has disappeared yet from Jurassic World. You still have a chance to buy up those retiring sets. Jumping over to Lego icons now, we have the Natural History Museum, Alpine Lodge still available, Lord of the Rings Rivendell still available. Uh, we still have the Jazz Club, Boutique Hotel, all still available, including back order sets, of course. You can still place orders for them. And uh, none of these sets are retiring, of course. And going to the second page here, Titanic, Lion Knight's Castle, Wildflower Bouquet. Lion Knight's Castle is out of stock, but just to show you that sometimes you can see this status right here, which is temporarily out of stock. So that's different, of course, than just saying sold out because they are telling us that this is temporary and it will be back in stock. Scrolling down further on the list here, we have Porsche 911 still available. Birds of Paradise retiring set still available for back order. Uh, the Santa's Visit set retiring is no longer available and has gone into sold out status. So that set is potentially gone for good. Scrolling down further here, we can see a handful of sets that are not retiring. Ghostbusters Ecto-1, Back to the Future Time Machine, and NASA Space Shuttle Discovery. None of these sets are on the way out this year, but we do have Galaxy Explorer here. So jumping quickly into Galaxy Explorer, we can see it has gone into sold out status. So that could be the last that we will see of the Galaxy Explorer. Haunted House, also retiring this year, has gone into sold out status. So that may be the end for the Haunted House. Friends Apartments, all also gone into sold out status. That may be the end for the friends' apartments. Police station, pickup truck, Santiago Bernabeu, all sets that will be uh, retiring this year. So police station, gone into sold out status. Pickup truck, gone into sold out status. And Real Madrid Stadium, also gone into sold out status. So it is there's a chance that these sets will not be coming back in stock. Now, I must have scrolled past the bookshop because I don't remember seeing it. Uh, but it is, of course, actually, you know what? That's a creator expert set. So if I jump into Creator Expert real quick because uh, that was before the rebrand. So Creator Expert uh, would cover the sets that are Lego icons before the rebrand over to the new name of Lego icons. And that would be Assembly Square, Bookshop, Lun Lunar Lander. But these are all available. You can see right here. In fact, we don't even need to open them uh, because you can still order them. You can still order Assembly Square, Bookshop, Lunar Lander, Ford Mustang. All of these sets are retiring, but are still available right now on Lego.com uh, under the Creator Expert uh, branding. So that is it for Lego icons and Creator Expert. Jumping over to Speed Champions. We can see a handful of sets that are still available. These are all the newer sets, of course including the Skyline from Fast and Furious. We have the McLaren Solus. We have the uh, Ferrari 812, the Lamborghini Countach. The GR Supra Toyota is retiring this year, still available to be ordered on lego.com. Fast and Furious Speed Champion set is still available to be ordered. The Jesco is on back order, but that is still available to be ordered. Uh, Aston Martin DB5 has gone into sold out status. So that one may not be coming back on lego.com. And then we also have the Aston Martin Double Pack down at the bottom here, gone out of stock and is in sold out status. So that is possibly also the end of that set. So two out of the m many different retiring speed champion sets that we have this year are potentially gone from lego.com. And let's jump into Star Wars now. So real quick, firstly, we see the Republic fighter tank at the top of the page here. Of course, that is retiring this year and it is out of stock right now on lego.com and it is gone into sold out status as we can see here. So possibly the last that we're going to see of Republic fighter tank on lego.com we see ahsoka again still in stock we've talked about that already we see the battle of endor heroes on back order and then continuing down the list here we can see tuscan raider also still available a handful of 
assets that are not retiring yet, including that $850 Millennium Falcon. And I'm so excited for the year that this retires because I just, I'm curious how the Lego investing community approaches this $850 Millennium Falcon, uh, whether, you know, people are investing in it or not. It's just, I'm just so curious about that. Jumping over to page number two, we have BD1 still available. That is a retiring set, of course. Most Isley Cantina was supposed to retire this year, but the dates got pushed out. And then we see the trash compactor diorama is out of stock right now on lego.com, of course. Uh, this was exclusive to Walmart in the US. It has now gone into sold out status on lego.com. And then scrolling down a little more here, we can see Dark Trooper Attack still available. We can see Ambush on Ferrix is out of stock. So opening up this one, what do we see? It is in fact gone into sold out status. Uh, scrolling down further here, we can see a handful of sets that are not yet retiring. And then jumping over to the third page here. So on page number three here, we can see the Luke Skywalker X-Wing that is gone into sold out status. So that is potentially the last we're gonna see of the Luke Skywalker X-Wing. And then we start to see some of the helmets. So we have Luke Skywalker Skywalker helmet first uh, gone into sold out status is retiring this year and may not be coming back in stock. We can scroll down further here and see that the justifier is also sold out right now on lego.com and has gone into sold out status. It does not say temporary. It is potentially the end for the justifier. The child is retiring, but it is on back order right now. So that one is potentially coming back into stock and you can still actually place orders for it. Then we have Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader is retiring, but is still available to be ordered. Clicking to to page number four and we have dark trooper helmet here is scheduled to retire but still available on lego.com to be ordered it is in back order right now uh, then a handful of sets that are not yet retiring we have the imperial tie fighter gone out of stock if i open this now what do i see here it is gone into sold out so imperial tie fighter may be gone for good we also have the dagobah jedi training diorama gone into sold out status right here on lego.com so that one may also be gone for good hoth atst in sold out status status. The Razor Crest, the initial first uh, iteration of the Razor Crest is gone into sold out status. So we can see Hoth ATST right there and the Razor Crest both in sold out status. We have the ATAT -AT here gone into sold out status. So a handful of these sets are gone and potentially will not be coming back. Down here we have the Death Star Trench Run Diorama set gone into sold out status. And then we have the Snow Trooper Battle Pack here as well, also retiring this year, gone into sold out status. Inquisitor Transport Scythe potentially also not coming back because it is now in sold out status. We've already looked at Mandalorian Child and the Republic gunship. Is it gone for good? There is a good chance of it because it is now sold out on lego.com and it is not marked as temporary. So we have a handful of retiring Star Wars sets that potentially will not be coming back in stock for good on lego.com. And if you want to pick up any of these sets, then you know the time is now to go to the other retailers and try to find them because they may not be coming back in stock on lego.com. And then real quick, let's just jump into Technic. Now there is a lot of retiring sets in the Technic theme and there are a lot of sets in general. So we're not gonna be able to go through all of this, but let's just try to find the ones that are going out of stock or that are potentially not coming back. Scrolling down, we can see Material Handler is out of stock and uh, that one is marked as sold out now. So that will potentially not be coming back. A lot of these other sets are actually still available the Ferrari 488 is out of stock and has moved to sold out status so that one may potentially be not coming back we see the telehandler the Formula E Porsche and the Monster Jam El Toro Loco all here gone into sold out status so those three may not be coming back into stock on uh, lego.com scrolling down further we have the motorcycle and the Megalodon also gone into sold out status right here as we can see here uh, going to page number three here on Lego Technic we can see Dom's Dodge Charger and the Jeep Wrangler and also the McLaren Senna here all out of stock right now on lego.com. Uh, does that mean that they are all sold out? Dom's Charger is gone into sold out status. Jeep Wrangler is gone into sold out status and Senna are all gone into sold out status. So there is a chance that none of these three sets will be coming back at all. Now we have the Ducati here. We have the App Control Transformation Vehicle. We have the Mercedes-Benz Z-Tross. Let's just check these real quick. Sold out for the Ducati sold out for the app control transformation vehicle and sold out for the Mercedes-Benz Z-Tross. So there's actually a ton 
of Technic retiring sets that are already gone from the website here. So opening up the next couple here. So we have the all-terrain vehicle sold out. Monster Jam Gravedigger sold out. Race Plane sold out. So Technic fans, you're almost at a time to pick up a lot of these sets because some of them will still be available in other retailers. Uh, but, you know, the time, the clock has taken really to get these sets. We have App Controlled D11 Bulldozer and we have the Batmobile. We've already looked at the Batmobile while we were looking at Batman sets. But the Bulldozer is also sold out on LEGO. Now, of course, there are many other Lego themes that we could look at, but I just wanted to pick a handful for this video. But if you wanted to go further, of course, you could pick another couple of themes and open them up on lego.com and start looking through what items are now in sold out status. Once again, I want to call out that this is not certain as it is possible that one of these sets will come back in stock even after being sold out because they could find another pallet of it in the warehouse and make it available again. But usually whenever a set is guaranteed to come back in stock, it will be marked as temporarily out of stock or back order. Whenever it goes into sold out status in my experience it usually means that the set is gone and that it's unlikely that it will be available again so which of these sets do you wish you got more of before they disappeared which of these sets are you scrambling to try and buy now let me know in the comments down below and thank you so much for being here and don't forget to join our free facebook group when you're down there i'll leave a link in the description we have a facebook group it's completely free to join we talk about lego investing and buying sets before values go up you definitely want to get in there now so grab that link in the description and with that thank you so much for being here I'm Shane from BrickBucks.net and I will see you in the next one.